Namaste, Namaskar, Vanakam, Sastri Akal. And welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. I'm Anjali. And today we're going to be reacting to something a little bit different, something my husband found. So we know Prime Minister Modi's here and Prime Minister Imran Khan's here and they're both going to the United Nations. And we just did a reaction and a welcome to Howdy Modi and that was just so amazing. I mean, he just told everybody, you know, introduced his family to Trump. And that was awesome. Like yeah. that was probably the best moment ever. And then talked about how everybody in India is fine. So it was just really touching and sweet. And, and he also talked politics. He also, you know, had some strong messages, but that was probably my favorite part of his speeches. So we did that already. And so we did a little bit of round one, and my husband found this uh, video that's like round two, but this is um, clips from their uh, press conferences before they go to the UN. So this is uh, round two, Imran Khan versus Modi with uh, Donald Trump. So yes. let's start it up. Imran Khan's press conference with Trump. So he's got some objectives to get Trump to mediate Kashmir, to get Trump to give him some money, to get Trump to accept that terrorists are part of his solution. Um, I look forward, uh, Mr. President, to talk to you about obviously <laughs> Afghanistan, which is uh, uh, a big issue for us Pakistanis because uh, stability in Afghanistan means stability in Pakistan. We also want to talk what about, does he uh, want to talk about all three neighbors: Afghanistan, uh, <laughs> India, Kashmir. His face is like, and of old course, uh, old Iran. Old uh, old it's uh, just we, we will discuss the situation there because all these all three neighbors of Pakistan. Certainly, I would be willing to help if both wanted, if both Pakistan, let's say, and India wanted me to do that. If uh, if. Both wanted it. I would be space. ready to do it. Yeah. You're right. You have to have a. Uh, you have to have two parties that want to agree. And that's not they, the answer well, he wants to if hear. If I can from be Trump. of help, you know he that. If I can be of help, me. let me know. But you'd have to have the assent also from the other side. <laughs> Modi, he alleged that Pakistan is the hub of terrorism. Do you endorse that, or do you disagree with that? Because you say that Pakistan has made a lot of terrorism. Well, progress. I really have been pointing much more to Iran. I mean, Iran, if you look at what, that's been really the state of terror. I've been saying it's the number one state of terror in the world. And the agreement we had does not cover that. Yeah. It was not doing well. It was doing very poorly. And now Iran is doing very poorly. Iran is uh, a different place than when I took over. When I took over the United States, when I became president, Iran was a real threat to the entire Middle East and maybe beyond. And now uh, they're having very, very big difficulties, to put it mildly. So we'll see. Are you happy with the progress that Pakistan has made in countering terrorism, particularly in the terrorism? I've heard they've made great progress, and under this leader, he's a great leader, I think he wants to make great progress. There's, just, there's no solution the other way. The other way is only going to lead to right. death and chaos and poverty. Yeah. It's all still Terror is not the answer. Your right. Prime Minister understands. Yeah, I hope he understands. Uh, it's a humanitarian issue, and so I was going to say that had, were, you, were you supposed to meet uh, Narendra Modi now, I would have asked you to at least lift the siege. I mean, it's a huge humanitarian crisis taking <laughs> President Trump. He's talking about... ...heads the most powerful country in the world. And the most powerful country in the world has a responsibility. And, you know, this, uh, you're, you very kindly uh, wanted to mediate in this. And you also said that two, both of us, India and Pakistan, has to agree to mediation. Many countries wanted to meet with me and us, the United States, during this very short three-day period, and we were unable to meet with many of them. Mm, not really. Khan accomplish his objectives? No. Yeah, he needs, uh, he needs the talk. Let's see Modi's press conference with Trump. मैं राष्ट्रपति ट्रंप का बहुत आभारी हूं कि क्रिश्चियन स्वयं स्वयं समय निकाल करके आए काफी समय दिया और अमेरिका में रहने वाले भारतीयों के लिए ये बहुत ही गर्व का अवसर था और मैं इसके लिए 
राष्ट्रपति ट्रंप का हृदय से बहुत बहुत आभार व्यक्त करता हूं जहां तक ट्रेड का सवाल है मुझे खुशी है कि मैं जब परसों ह्यूस्टन में था दैट्स रियली ऑसम तो हमारे yeah. पेट्रोनेट ने दैट्स कंट्री शुड बी डूइंग वहां पर 2.5 बिलियन डॉलर के इन्वेस्टमेंट के साथ एनर्जी सेक्टर में इन्वेस्टमेंट का एमओयू किया है और उसका परिणाम ये होगा कि आने वाले कुछ दशक में करीब 60 बिलियन डॉलर का ट्रेड और करीब 50000 लोगों के लिए जॉब तो अपने आप में एक बहुत बड़ा इनिशिएटिव भारत ने लिया है राष्ट्रपति ट्रंप मेरे तो मित्र है ही है लेकिन भारत के बहुत ही अच्छे मित्र के रूप में expect something as a on a trade deal uh, in, in talks today uh, or what the US and India can do together to boost trade ties going forward well, I think very soon we're doing very well and Bob Lighthizer who's right here was negotiating with India and they're very capable representatives and I think uh, very soon we'll have a trade deal uh, we'll have the larger deal wow, down the road great. a little bit but we will have a trade deal very soon Pakistan has been the global epicenter of terrorism so You spoke about it in Houston. How do you make sure that you clamp down on terrorism from Pakistan because that is uh, posing a threat to democracies like the US and India. Even the business interests suffer because of continuing terrorism. Mr. Modi gave and I think he gave that loud and clear Modi. on the other day when we were together. He gave a pretty loud message and I'm sure he'll be able to handle that situation. Your prime minister will take care of it. Well, my personal chemistry is as good as it can get. I have great respect. I have great admiration and I really like him. That's another thing and He's a great gentleman and a great leader. So true. And yeah. I remember India before. Now, not intimately, but I remember India before. And it was very torn. It was a lot of dissension, a lot of fighting, and he brought it all together, uh, like a father would bring it together. Mm -hmm. Maybe he's the father of India. We'll call him the father. Father of India. Of India. So bad. But he brought things together, and you don't hear he that anymore. He introduced his family. So uh, I think he's done a fantastic job. But I think that what the event showed is how much I like uh, the. country of india and i and how much i like your prime minister uh, i there was tremendous spirit in that room too and and they love there this was. gentleman to my right it was amazing really those, those yeah. people went crazy that was like elvis that was like an american <laughs> like an american version of elvis it was like we brought in the middle of a, an all american deal elvis presley came back now he was uh, that was quite something they love your prime minister it's a great thing thank you very much everybody thank you thank you thank you thank you they're so much more comfortable with each other too yeah did money accomplish his objectives yep yeah, they got some trade maybe we'll take care of cashmere right yeah who won So you can really see the differences between the President Trump and Prime Minister Imran Khan and Prime Minister Modi, you know, just their facial expressions, just the way they they hold themselves. You know, Imran Khan was more asking for stuff whereas Modi was pretty much this is what we're doing. Um so you can see they're in different positions even, you know, in in power how they act. Um you know, just It, there's so many good things I think that will come from these meetings. I hope. So yeah, it seems like like good things are gonna come from this like trade and like how they're gonna like fight terrors. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, the India and the U.S. really seem like they're working together, and good things are coming. So there's already been a trade deal in the works already going on. It seemed like, and then more was coming down the road. and um you know that can only just mean more good things for both countries and hopefully better partnership and um you know this is not we want bad for pakistan this is we want them to work things out and focus on making their economy better focus on making their country better so that they're not coming to trump to ask seems like almost beg for money and help with kashmir and they should really be trying to focus on the economy, focus on trade, focus on helping their country and uh you know making good things like you know they they are, there can be good for both for everybody. So yeah, so hopefully this is just many many good things coming down the road, you know, this is just the start of the conference before the UN meeting and so hopefully good things will just keep coming. and um coming for India and the US and and for everybody you know we want good around the world 
And um, But this really makes us proud to see Prime Minister Modi here in the U.S., um, you know, getting along with Trump so well, and they're already starting deals, and, and good things are coming. And, um, you know, it was like he was part of the family. So I hope you guys like this. And if you like this video, don't forget to click that like button down below because the more you like, the more you choose our videos. And don't forget to subscribe and join our wonderful family, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.